I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome back to the Gospel Gamble. It's good to have you with me today and today we turn our attention to the FA Cup second qualifying round which is my first knockout um, game as Gospel Manager. Um, I love a good knockout. Those of you who have been following me um, since the beginning will know that I love a good knockout game. I get excited enough as it is in league games but the, with the added implication that I might be knocked out of the composition the competition knockout just sends me into a tizzy of uncontrollable hype um so here we are today we're just about to play oxford city at home we haven't played them yet in the league they are above us in the league they're doing their but they are 11th place whereas we are 16th place and um just to give you a reminder um i'm with the league i've been given a five game ultimatum to get nine points now last time round i won my first game in six games and I beat Hemel Hempstead 2-0 at home. Charlie Collins, two beauties. Ow, oh. I'm, I'm still exhausted from that game. But it was a beautiful game, 1-2-0. So, in a way, the heads are high. People's expectations are a bit better. Their, their, their morale is okay to fairly poor, which is better than it was. Um, and so, I'm keeping the same same team, same format. There's a good week's difference between these games. None of them should be too tired. Yeah, they're all on 90, 92, all that sort of stuff. Not so bad. Also, obviously, it's the FA Cup qualifying round, so I'm allowed seven subs. Um, so, I've got a good mixture on the bench there waiting to be brought on if any of the other players are looking tired. And we'll see how it goes. Now, officially, this shouldn't count towards my kind of ultimatum of getting sacked. However, the media like to mix things up, don't they? And of course, I then get this message come up on my inbox saying, um, the gospel borough hierarchy appeared to be finally losing patience with manager or first worst football manager ever, according to Sky Sports News. Sky Sports News are declaring that a bad result against Oxford City in the forthcoming FA Cup match could seal his fate. Da -da -da. I'm like, all right, chill out. Do you know what I mean? Um, we'll see how we go. Now, from what I remember, um, let me just go to the club screen. Oh no, my profile screen maybe. I can't remember what screen it is. Um, basically, oh, where is it now? I don't know where it is. Anyway, they want me to get to the first round of the FA Cup, which is a good few rounds ahead of this one. And unfortunately, I was hoping to get a, a non-league side who are below me, but I've got Oxford City. So always nice to make it nice and nice and tricky for me, eh? Um, how many rounds are there? So there's the second, third and fourth qual qualifying round for me to get through and then I get to the first round. So, ow. Ouch. Ow. 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 Oh. Oh. This is going to hurt if I lose. That's, that's what all those owls were, were about. Okay, so should we get through, 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 should we press on with the game? They are looking like they're going to be playing a 4-4-2. Um, Previous meetings, we have won two, and they have... No, we have won one, and they have won one. Oh, dear. I just... Oxford City were the ones that got to the playoffs ahead of me last season, if you remember. I remember it like it was yesterday. Ooh. So there's bones to be picked here. Bones. Who made up that? Bones to be picked. Who... Who makes up a phrase like anyway? Never mind, never mind. So we're keeping with the same structure, deep lying forward. I don't think we had a deep lying forward last time, from what I remember. I don't think it was that. Um, no, it definitely wasn't that. It definitely wasn't. Um, we're gonna. It was a. Well, let's go for a target man for support for Collins and Justin Bennett. I think more of an advanced forward than an attack. And White is more of a. I thought he was more of a defensive forward but obviously he's not okay well let's um yeah i think he needs to come back a little bit and we'll see how that plays out defend we've got limited defenders in the center backs and full backs as the left and right which worked well for me last game guy and her just just pushing forward when they needed to um Guy's not as forward looking as um, Johnny Hurd is, so I didn't want to push him too much. Um, centre mid with Max Melanson on loan, played well last time. And the other central midfielder is Andy Robinson, Captain Captain Robinson, and uh, Mike Carter, ball winning midfielder in this, the, with a bit more of a defensive mentality. And then you've got Strong Beardy in goal. Pulled off one of the most incredible saves that I've seen in, in that game. 
Um, so it wasn't that great. But still, it, it, it saved the game for me. Uh, so he is staying in with his beard. And Jamie White's beard up front. The two beard combo is going to smash it. It's going to smash it. It's going to. It's like getting a vase and it's going to be like phew, smashing it on the table. I'm not, not going to smash that vase. I bet not. My wife will kill me. Um, but yeah, well, it's like smashing stuff. So that's all got to be good. Ben Harding, key man. Oxford City are a good side and he, they think they have enough quality to see off the challenge of gospel today. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that, mate. Macaulay Davis, not Macaulay Culkin, who was the actor in Home Alone, obviously. Don't think he'd be playing um, football for Oxford City. He is in a band, though, that writes songs about pizzas. And that's, I'm not even joking. That is serious. You could Google it. Stop this video, pause this video, go and Google Macaulay Culkin pizza, and it will come up with his band. And uh, he played a band, and they played near me. So the things you learn listening to these videos, eh? Things you learn about pop culture listening to this um, ok challenge the team to pick up where they left off let's put up a good performance despite the odds being against us um, yeah and then I'll boost them up a little bit with some passion as always can't resist it can't resist a bit of passionate talk right ok um, instructions we're going for looking for the overlap slightly deeper mixed possession tackling is just standard and that worked for me last time I'm just going to hope it's going to work again really we're going into control so we are taking the control in this game let's see what happens come on boys this is a knockout this is the FA Cup the dream starts here here's Gaia on the ball and that's the end of the highlight that was really that was really annoying ok I feel I feel ready for this game today. I just, I feel like, you know, some days you go into a game, you go into some of these, and you think, oh, I just don't know. It's just, just, I feel it today. I feel good thoughts. I feel like good feelings, vibes about this game. I think we can do it. So far, all we've done is had 52% of the possession and given away two fouls, and a, and got a yellow card out of it as well. Brilliant. Thanks, Max. Just don't get sent off. I'll be so annoyed if somebody gets sent off today. Don't, don't even. Don't even joke about it. Don't even joke. I know you're joking about it right now, so just stop joking because it won't be funny. It'll be deeply depressing, particularly, particularly if I get... This could be the last episode of the Gospel Gamble. I hope you realise that. If I lose this game, I hadn't realised that. My goodness, if I lose this game, I might get sacked at the end of this episode. Oh, my goodness. That is not good. That is pretty horrific, actually. It's quite bad. Come on, 18 minutes gone. We are nil-nil. The last game against uh, Hemel's Hempstead, if you watched that episode, was nil-nil at half-time as well. It was a boring half where pretty much nothing happened. And then the second half, it was like it was like the floodlights came on and the floodgates opened and the f flood of goals took place. Yep. Okay. So I'm marking up that guy. Uh, it looks like he's a better crosser. Um, a better crosser. That doesn't sound like it's a real real phrase. What, what am I saying? What am I, what am I even saying, eh? What am I saying? OK, 20 minutes into the FA Cup of this season. And Oxford have had more shots than us. Four shots, they've had one on target. And they've had most of the possession as well. Um, however, obviously they haven't had too great a chance. Because, um, well, they haven't shown it as a highlight, eh? Do you know what I mean? And I've got key highlights on, not just goals, just so you're aware. Um, oh dear, Jamie White, the beard, second beardy, is injured. What is wrong with him? Potential groin injury. Oh, groin, they, t they take ages to get better. Okay, so the question is, do I bring on Joe Anyansar, who has scored one goal for me this season, had a reasonable amount of, um, you know, presentations not presentations you know like appearances or do I go Jamie Jamal Lowe who I brought in he hasn't scored yet but this could be his day I'm going for Jamal Lowe why am I going for Jamal Lowe I don't quite know but he is going to play as a poacher in attack um, Collins is a target man attack I think he's going to have to go into a Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he's going to be a defensive forward in the heat, yeah, because okay, Collins is going to go more into the defensive role now um, Jamal is probably a little bit more attacking 
than Jamie is. Let's go um, calm. Play your natural game. Oh, he seems demotivated. That's not what I want. So this fella has been really worried because he hasn't been scoring goals. When he has played for me, he hasn't really done much, to be fair. But I just have this sense that I still think he's an alright player. Um, so I thought, it, don't worry, mate. Don't feel the pressure. You'll be fine. And now he looks demotivated. What do they want from me? What do they want? What do you want? Oh my goodness, Mike Carter now is now looking injured. A, a gashed head. Did he just say he's wanting to come off? 52%. Keep him on till half time. Mike Carter, he's one of those solid, like, blood all over your face, but I'm going to carry on kind of players. So I'm going to keep playing him until, until half time at least. Come on, Mike, get in there. Look at him going for the challenge still. Let's just get rid of his body language there. Keen. Nahor. Nahor, probably. Uh, he's Keen. Sprays it out. He's back to Nahor. Into Bolkia. Here's Davies. Can Collins come back to chase it back? No. Martin. Nahor. This is some good build up play from them. Martin. Davies. King on the left. Come on. Close him down. Close him down. Don't get him. Get the cross. Peters all in that space. And Bolkia. Oh, and he hit the post. And the ball's gone out of play and it's a throw in. Crikey. Right. Boys. Come on. Passionate. Concentrate. Got to concentrate out there. That was a little bit scary for my liking. And there are a couple of players there who need closing down. Um, I think his name was Peters was one of them. Let's just jump ahead into the opposition instruction. Um, yeah, Connor Peters, their left back. We're going to be closing him down now. Um, tackling hard on the hall. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Well, we'll leave it. Bulky R was a, was another guy. We've got, we've got closing down here. Martin. Um, hmm. No, we'll leave it for now. But Bulky R and Peters obviously pushing forward a little bit from their usual right wing and right midfield and left back role. So we'll just close them down when they get the ball. Just not let, don't let them have a cross. So we are at half time. Um, not the best of halves from us. 6.3 Collins is on. Um, rest of them also on sixes there. Nothing really particularly to write home about. Um, that we can seize control maps with an early second half goal. Get and grab that one goal to win this for us. Come on, boys. Oh, they still didn't respond to that. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to leave it though. I'm going to leave it. See, Mike Carter is still thinking that he wants to come off. I just, mm, I just not keen to take him off until he's really, until he really does need to come off. Sixty-seven percent. I'll give him a bit more time to be honest. He's too good a player. He's too important for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Ben Harding probably could do an all right job actually. So he's not like he's the only defensive midfielder. So I have got. Yeah, I have got the people who could come in and do all right for me instead, if I need to. Yeah, so he's not playing that well anymore. Let's take him off. Let's take him off. Right. Um, ben Hardin, you're on. Come on, Ben. Come on, Benji, do it for me. Max Melanson having a good game at 7.0 now. That's nice to see. Char Charlie Collins, 6.3. Not so good, but I could always take him off after a bit as well, maybe. Let's... um. 66 minutes. Neither strikers doing that good. Jamal Lowe, Collins and Bennett all on 6.4 and 5s. Let's take off Collins then and put Anion Sar on anyway. Oh, and I'm tempted to put on Elliot Wheeler. But I won't. I won't. Not just yet. Not just yet. Okay, so neither side are getting many shots on target. You can see there in the right. I don't know if you can see it if my, if my video's in the way. I'll lift that up. There you go. You can see the match stats there. Um, got one on target each. Night. Oxford have now got two or shots on target, which is a bit scary. Come on, boys. Don't lose this game, whatever you do. Elliot Wheeler. Can he play? Um, he can play in the centre. Maybe it's worth bringing him on. Yeah, go on then. Um, Greenidge. Oh, I can't make any more. I've made three already, have I? Oh, crikey. I don't even keep track of it. I've got to keep track more. Yeah, so I can't bring any more people on. Reese Greenidge is looking tired, though, and it's 85 minutes to go. I cannot... I could. I would cry if we lose this in the last minute. 
Oh my goodness, and they're on the attack. Nahor, Bolkiar. Oh my word! What are you doing? Oh my goodness, overload right, we get to... What on earth are you doing? Shoot on sight. This is absolutely wrong. Higher. Push higher. We have to overload it. Take more risks. Higher tempo. Go route one. Oh my goodness. Oh. What? What? What, have I, what do I have to do? It won't count! It won't count! It doesn't count! It's disallowed! It's disallowed! Oh, will you look at that! Look at that! It's disallowed! Right, I need to get back to the tactics. Suddenly, I've put overload and gone crazy for no reason. I don't need to. Come on. Right, let's go back to the tactics. Oh, crikey. Uh, right. Control. Um, uh, well, they're slightly deeper. Uh, much lower... Get rid of all of this. I work the, no, I just want an overlap. Um, what else did I do? I can't think what else I did. More direct passing, probably. Um, balance slightly deeper. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That would have been so bad if I... Oh, it got, it, it got disallowed. It got disallowed. Oh. Are we going to stay in by the skin of our teeth here? Nahor, Andrew, Watson. Four seconds to go. Surely that's the end of the game. Oh! <laughs> that has got to be the most thrilling final five minutes that ended in a nil-nil draw that I've ever experienced. Oh my goodness. Crikey. Neil Neil, we were unlucky. No, I'm just not happy with your performance. I think it's more that. Charlie Charlie Collins looks stressed. You had a, such a bad game, mate. Why should you look stressed? Oh, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh my goodness. So that is that is the end of that game. <laughs> this is too stressful, man. The last two games have been the most stressful but amazing games ever. And so the next episode you will see, um, I think, will probably be the uh, yeah, the next second round qualifier. Join me tomorrow where you will see the second round qualifier against Oxford City. We'll be going away to them next. So we're going back, going to Oxford. We're going to see what we can do and uh, join me for that. How on earth am I still in the FA Cup? How on earth do I still have my job, to be fair? But I do still do and, uh, and it's still fun. If you're enjoying these videos, then do please leave me, give me a little, like, hit the like button and um, subscribe to this stuff if you want to see more videos and and um, uh, yeah, and you can also catch me on Twitter and we can chat about this some more at Worst F Manager. And I tweet most days. Um, but for now, that is it. I need to go and have a cup of tea. Um, crikey, after that. Like, we didn't quite smash it, but my, my, my brain nearly smashed up. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, that will do for now. Um, so I'll see you until next time. I'll see you later.